Hello there folks, Kirk here with Kirk Giordano Plastering. Today, what we're doing is we're going to match a dash finish with a brown coat and we're going to also throw on a, a same finish. What I generally use is Felton sand or Oli sand, that's plaster sand. I went uh, over the weekend and I picked up some what another company calls plaster sand in the aggregate in here. It's, it's pebbly. Um, can, you, can you zero in right there to show these the bigger aggregate? Aggregate's just a fancy name for sand or rock. Uh, see, we got bigger aggregate. And then what I'm doing is, now this is the float we generally use. They're both green sponge floats. I use this about 19 out of 20 jobs. Sometimes I'll use this one, and this is much coarser. So what we've already done today is we've started off at the top there. And if I use a coarse float with coarse sand, then I'm going to have a, a coarse finish. Obviously, this dash has been applied here about 90 years ago. So with the accumulation of, say, say about seven, eight paint jobs, it's, it's lost a lot of its aggregate. So if I use this heavier sponge float, I can sponge it right here, and it's bringing out this heavier aggregate, which is almost on the money right there. So I just got to throw a light, light dash on it. I'll show you guys as I'm doing that in a minute. Okay, guys. Fortunately, I got great Darby guys. They are spreading very well, which means my job's pretty easy. All I got to do is float for now, and I am dashing. You can see, when we come to a corner here, I generally will take my corner in an upward motion. I'm coming up like that. This is pretty wet mud I'm working with. Perfect. I love wet mud to work with. That means I use skill. So, see, I'm always upward motion. on the joint. This one, I'm pulling it up. This way when all is said and done, you really know the difference of the transitions between existing stucco and new stucco. This is what takes the, the time in to know how to get this joint just right. So I'm using the sponge flat, just like if you're snowboarding, all the way flat, just like that. When all, everything is said and done, I give it a very light dash. Now we're going to be right on the money. And this is what I have to work with, guys. Nice, with nice full brown coat. So the brown coat is nice and full here, nice and full here. And I take all my joints, I work my tops, and I go upward motion for the tops. Upward. You see how that's, it's already, this sponge float is bringing out all the aggregate. Down here where I'm tying into existing, I'm going to bring it downward right into the existing and it does take practice and this mud is it's uh wet still i don't want it to dry i have enough fellas here besides okay be put on and i can use skill rather than strength if i allow this mud to dry now i'm using all my strength and within three to four hours i'm already beat up so skill rather than strength and right now it's pretty soupy still that's good. And the scratch coat underneath sucks the moisture out. So this is how we do it in the trades. I'm still going to come back and dash this when I'm completely done. As I said earlier, I'll show you the final results. All right, guys. Now that I've got a heavy float finish on here, I've almost got this dash right here, a little bit more. And what I have is a soupier bucket of, of sand here. And I, what I do is I fill this dash brush up and let it drip. Let's see how wet that is. I let it drip off. Then I just kind of lightly throw it on there. I had a fella come from uh, Castro Valley who emailed me this weekend and was doing his garage and he was using color. And of course I told him the same technique. I told him your color's not going to match. When I got home Sunday evening he had emailed me some photographs. It came out pretty good, his dash. Uh, not trying to cut our own throat, but we like to show you how we in the industry do this because you can try to do this all day long. It does take a lot of practice, guys. A lot of practice. So uh, call us or somebody like us to, to do this. And this is one more tip while I'm up here. And after I put this in here a certain amount of times, this is going to dry out. So I got a float bucket right here. 
my flow bucket, I'll just come in here and I'll soup this up again because I want it soupy. The more I dip this brush in there, the drier it is going to become. So, here we go. And what I'm also doing too is we're starting at the top. We're starting at the top, we're taking everything down. And as we go down, we're going to drop all this staging. So, all we're left with is the bottom. Okay, folks, we're all set here. Another half hour, the sun won't be shining, so we won't be able to do the completion. But you get an idea of what we've done here. We floated it, we dashed it, and we're just doing cleanup right now. Anyway, uh, you can take a quick peek, cleaning up all the pipes and the ground and all that good stuff. Uh, we've got a lot of rose bushes. We've got to clean up and pretty up. Anyway, this is how we do a dash finish. You know it's not a tunnel dash finish. Anyhow, folks, my name is Kirk. I'm with Kirk Giordano Plastering. Thank you, folks, for watching. We'll see you guys on the next one.